Good morning, dear students. So, in the previous classes, we have seen free energy functions, their significance, and also how they can be used as criteria for spontaneity. Um, regarding free energy functions, we have one more topic to cover, and that is Gibbs-Helmont's equation, its derivation, as well as application. I am sure you have all studied the Gibbs-Helmont's equation and its derivation in your degree classes. You have also seen the applications of Gibbs-Helmont's equation. It's a very well-known equation. Uh, you, are, you must be very familiar with uh, this equation and its derivation. So, I am not attempting to discuss Gibbs-Helmont's equation in class. Uh, instead, I am going to give Gibbs-Helmont's equation as your assignment for physical chemistry um, paper. Okay. So, for uh, regarding physical chemistry paper, your assignment would be Gibbs-Helmont's equation, derivation and application, which you have to submit by uh, 10 days. So, uh, today will be uh, 18th. So, by 28th, you will have to submit Gibbs-Helmholtz equation and uh, you have to write the equation, uh, I mean, you have to submit the equation as a hard copy as well as submit the soft copy of the um, assignment in Google Classroom. Okay. So, by uh, January 28th, you will have to submit your physical chemistry um, assignment. And uh, I'll put the assignment link in Google Classroom. You will have to submit the hard copy as well as the soft copy by 28th. Okay. So, next we'll see Maxwell's relations. Okay. The, this, is, this must also be familiar for you because uh, this is a, a very important topic in thermodynamics uh, in your degree classes. Still, we'll do it. Because Euler's reciprocity relation, uh, these Maxwell relations are derived based on uh, Euler's reciprocity relation and it has been mentioned uh, specifically in your PG syllabus. Maybe uh, this is more important to you. Uh, okay. What? So, let's see what Maxwell equations are. You must not confuse Maxwell's relations with Maxwell equation. Maxwell's equation are from physics electromagnetic theory but Maxwell's equations are thermodynamic relations. It is a set of equations derived based on Euler's reciprocity relation and the definition for thermodynamic functions. It is a set of four equations. It is derived by the from the definition of thermodynamic equations making use of Euler's reciprocity relation. In order to derive Maxwell's thermodynamic relations, you have to know the differential mathematical expressions for internal energy, enthalpy, Gibbs, Gibbs free energy change and Helmholtz free energy, Helmholtz free energy. That is, you have to know what is du, du, dh, dA and dg mathematically. Only from uh, the mathematical equations for ma differential mathematical equations for these functions you can derive you, um, Maxwell's relations. So, let us see how Maxwell's relation is derived based on internal energy u. Okay. According to first law of thermodynamics, the differential form is dou Q is equal to du plus PdV. Okay. And from the second law of thermodynamics, we have dou Q is equal to TDS. Combining the first and second law, we have TDS is equal to du plus PdV. And from this, what is du? Du is TDS minus PDV. Okay. It is from this relation that we have to derive the Maxwell's 
thermodynamic relation from internal energy. Okay. Let's start from du is equal to TDS minus PDV. Okay. Let's apply the constant conditions, the boundary conditions. The boundary condition being, at first condition being at constant volume. Why constant volume? Because we have two differential terms here S and here V. Okay. So, first we are applying at constant volume. At constant volume what happens? dV is equal to 0 or du is equal to TDS. Differentiating. Differentiating this equation with respect to S at constant volume. The volume was initially kept constant. Hence, differentiating with respect to S at constant volume, what we what will you get? du by ds at constant volume is equal to T into dou S by dou S at constant volume. Dou S by dou S at constant volume will be 1 and hence this equation becomes dou U by dou S at constant volume is equal to T. Now, let's differentiate this equation again with respect to volume keeping entropy constant. Okay. Why these two variables? Because the variables are S and V. Initially, we kept dV constant and derived this equation. When we are differentiating this equation again, what we do is we are differentiating with respect to V, which was kept constant initially, keeping the other variable constant, which was S. Okay. So, next is differentiating with respect to, with respect to, now the new variable is V, sorry, to V at constant, constant S. Okay. Then what will you get? Do by do v of do u by do s at constant volume. Then now what is kept constant now? Entropy is equal to do by do v of t at constant entropy. Now the equation becomes do squared u by do v do s is equal to these two variables are kept constant so i am not attempting to write any uh, any of these variables in brackets do square u by do v do s is equal to do t by do v at constant entropy okay now we have derived do square u by do v do s in order to apply uh, Euler's reciprocity relation, now what we'll ha what do we have to do? We have to find dou square u by dou s dou v. Okay. So, in order to do that, what do we do? We take the equation again. Dou u is equal to TDS minus PDV. Okay. Now, what is to be kept constant? Initially, V was kept constant. Now, we keep S constant. At constant S, what happens? DS becomes equal to 0. So, differentiating. Sorry. Before differentiating, we can write. Before differentiating, we will write. DU is equal to. DU is equal to. Minus PDV at constant entropy. Differentiating with respect to what is the variable now? V. V at constant S. The equation becomes dou U by dou U by dou V at constant S is equal to minus P into dou v by dou v that is 1. So, dou, dou u by dou v at constant entropy is equal to minus p. Now, what we have to do? We have to differentiate 
this equation again at constant volume keeping keeping s as the variable okay so let's differentiate again dou squared u by dou s dou v this will be equal to dou minus of dou p by dou s at constant what is kept constant now constant volume okay so in the previous step we derived dou square u by dou v dou s and now we have dou square u by dou s dou v. So, applying Euler's relation, what do you get? These two equations are the same. That means dou square u by dou v dou s is equal to dou square u by dou s dou v. Now, we have equated the left hand sides. So, let us equate the right hand sides. Dou s by dou v at constant s. Dou s by, sorry, dou t by dou v. Dou t by dou v at constant s is equal to minus of dou p by dou s at constant v. This is our first thermodynamic Maxwell's thermodynamic relation which was derived from internal energy. Dou T by dou V at constant entropy is equal to minus dou P by dou S at constant volume.